friends, I'm pleased to send this message to you during the virtual summit for a free Iran. The people of Iran deserve a government of their choosing, one that supports all the most basic and fundamental freedoms, one where you're free to express yourself and free to criticize policies you don't agree with, one where you're free to practice the religion of your choice or no religion at all. In short, one that upholds the ideals of democracy. And I'm sorry you've been denied that for so many years. I supported House Resolution 752 when it passed the House earlier this year. The protests that started in Iran in November of 2019 were legitimate expressions of grievance with the government, including protests against brutality by Iranian forces. My colleagues and I strongly condemn human rights abuses occurring at the hands of the Iranian regime, unfair trials, unlawful and often secret executions, forced disappearances, and torture, all documented in the State Department's Iran Country Report on Human Rights. The Iranian regime pursues its own corrupt interests and its desire to control the region rather than acting in the interest of its own people. At a time when COVID-19 has ravaged the country and the government has responded with indifference, Iranians deserve better. Iran is home to an active, well-educated society. Imagine the potential that the government would recognize the strength of its people rather than oppress them. Iranians in Maryland add to a vibrant community, one that recognizes we're made stronger by our diversity and by a wide range of viewpoints. I'm glad to have a number of Iranian Americans call Maryland 6th District home. I welcome their contributions to our community and to our nation. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. I wish you well as you hold your summit today. Please be safe.